We're going to begin sitting down on our mat. If you have a block, that's great, and a strap, you have those handy as well. I want you to find a comfortable seated position. Try to sit up tall through your sit bones, reaching through the entire spine all the way up through the crown of your head. you to gently engage that core and if you'd like flip your hands up palms towards the ceiling shoulders back and down close your eyes if you'd like just take some breaths in through your nose out through your mouth Notice where the breath travels. Are you breathing too slow, fast? Gently open those eyes, put those palms back down. I'm going to turn to the side and roll down onto your mat, onto your back. Bring those knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around it, your calves. Let's give them a nice hug. We rock side to side. Drop your left foot flat to the mat or extend it out long. Keep that right leg into your chest. You're gonna flex both feet. We're going to extend the right foot up to the ceiling, flexing your foot. Try and create that 90 degree angle as if we're in that low lunge position just on the floor. You can wrap your hands around your calf, behind the thigh. Or keep your right hand on the thigh, left hand in your arch. Take some breaths. Last breath, and then drop your strap. And we're wrapping around the ball of that foot. Pausing. Waiting until your exhale to extend that leg. Straightening that leg up towards the ceiling. Keeping both feet flexed still. Inhale, bend that leg towards your chest, keeping the strap around the foot. Exhale, straighten the leg. One last time, inhale, bend the leg. Exhale, straighten the leg. Maybe going a little bit further than last time. that leg 
Shake it out. I'm going to place that right foot flat on the mat, the knee up to the ceiling, or extending out long, whichever you prefer. We're going to hug this left foot, left leg into our bodies. And then making a hip circle. Both feet are flexed here again. That outer right hip is firming in to stabilize our lower half of our body. From here, I want you to raise your foot up to the ceiling, so creating a straight line as much as possible from that knee to the ankle. In that low lunge position just on our back. You can keep your hands behind the calves, place it behind your thigh, or keep one hand, uh, your left hand, behind the back of the thigh, right hand, inner arch. Keep breathing. One last breath. I'm going to go ahead and release that. Grab your strap and interlace it. Pound the ball of foot. Again, pausing here. You're going to wait until your exhale and then straighten your leg. Bye. 
last breath, bring those legs back to center. And begin to rock yourself up to a seated position. Maybe two or three rocks. And come up. We're going to grab your block here. I like to place it on uh, this horizontal setting. Placing it in between those ankles about. And we're going to lower back down, sitting Pressing our uh, bottom on the block, on our knees, just taking some of that pressure off our knees. From here, I want you to lift up those frontal hip bones, neutralizing our pelvis. Put it, draw in that core, shoulder width back and down. Reach that head long, squeezing in those legs, so firming in that outer hip. I'm using this block to help you. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Exhale, left arm to the side. Extending them behind your back, reaching those hands towards each other. Keeping that head as neutral as possible. If this is too much for you, feel free to grab your strap and um, work towards this using your strap instead. So you would just have that strap in your right hand and grabbing it with your left. Keep breathing. Make sure those frontal hip bones are still lifting up. Core engaged. One last breath, release the arms. Just gonna take a head circle to the right. Moving slow and gentle. Circle to the left. Trying to still feel your breath through this. And coming back up to a neutral spine. Keep sure those frontal hip bones are lifting up still, firming in those outer legs, squeezing that block with your outer ankles. Shoulder width back and down or Engage, lifting through the crown of that head. Take a breath. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling, right arm out to the side. Bend the left arm behind your head, right arm behind the back. Hands, fingertips reaching towards each other. And using that strap if you need to.
drawing of these wide toes together and sit back, child's pose. Reaching those fingertips long in front of you. And you're walking them out. Resting that forehead on the floor. If your forehead cannot reach the floor, um, please grab your block and place it there so your head is touching and resting as well. Deep breathing. One last breath here. Press up tabletop position. And get ready. Tuck those toes. Make sure those hands are ready for downward dog. Adjusting if you need to. And press up downward dog. Just walk it out. Do whatever you need to right now. Bending one leg, straightening the other, pressing that heel as much as you can towards that floor. Keep sending those hips up and back as much as possible. Keep trying to breathe. Taking a break if your um, shoulders or arms start to hurt too much. We're going to do step those feet forward towards your hands, coming to the top of the mat. Placing that block in front of you if you need it. Relaxing forward in a forward fold. <coughs> really want that weight forward in the toes here. Releasing that head to the floor as much as possible. Really letting it hang. Relaxing those shoulders and arms as well. I'm going to shake that head, yes. Shake your head, no. Take one last breath. Inhale, hands to shins, roll those shoulder heads up, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, releasing those hands to the ground. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart. Firming in those outer ankles. Drawing up those kneecaps, squeezing in your butt, shoulder blades back and down, reaching through your head long, releasing those arms, twist, um, spinning those hands forward, palms forward, reaching through those fingertips and to the top of that head. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, releasing down to the floor or your block. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins, keeping that weight forward in the toes. Exhale, placing those hands back down on the mat, releasing. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins, back long, shoulder blades engaged, exhale, release down to the floor. Inhale, rise to stand, hands to heart. Taking a breath here, maybe closing your eyes, centering your body. This time we'll continue on. Inhale, arms up, reaching towards the ceiling as high as you can. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold, placing those hands on the mat. Step back, your version of plank. 
So that's a tall plank or knees on the ground. Draw up that core, press the floor away. Lower down, chaturanga. Elbows to the back of the room. Releasing down. Untuck those toes. Roll those shoulder heads up. Squeeze your butt. Press into the tops of your feet. Lift up. Back bend. Exhale. Lower down. Tuck those toes. Moving through that tabletop position. Press up. Downward dog. Adjusting your stance if needed. Take three rounds of breath here. Again, pedaling it out if you need to. Bending one leg, straighten the other. Step or hop those feet forward towards your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart. Inhale, lift the arms up. Reaching towards the center as much as possible. Exhale, forward fold. Place those hands on the mat. Prepping for your version of plank. Set those feet back. Exhale, shake forward. Elbow to the back of the room. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, press into the tops of the toes. Shoulder heads lifted up. Reach through that bend. Baby back bend. Shoulder width back and down as much as you can. Keep squeezing your butt. Lifting through the crown of your head. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes. Press up through that. Stepping back to downward dog. Breath here. Step or hop those feet forward to your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Sink those hips back, firming in your outer legs. Sinking back, chair pose. Knees going over those toes. Core engaged. Bring those hands to heart center, shoulders back, head reaching long, exhale, release to the floor, straighten those legs, forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, release, hands on the floor, set back, your version of plank, drawing in that core, pressing the floor away, squeezing your legs, engaging Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, elbows to the back of the room. Inhale, back lift. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, press up, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, ankle circle. Inhale, place it flat on the mat, in between the hands. Spin that back heel forward, 45 degree angle. Firm in that outer front hip. Stabilizing your legs, standing up, warrior two. Lifting that front hip up, neutralizing that pelvis. Make sure we're not squaring the hips. Knees going over that toe with effort towards the right side of your body. Reaching through those arms. Deep breath. Exhale, cartwheel the hands back down to the floor. Neutralize your back foot, step back, downward dog. Shift forward, your version of plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, back lift of your choice. Maybe coming up to a full cobra this time. Exhale. Lower down, tuck those toes. Press up, downward dog. Pressing through those hands. Hips up and back. Bring that long line from those hands to your, through that tailbone as much as possible. Again, it's okay to bend the knees. Inhale, left leg up towards the ceiling. 
Exhale, placing it on the mat in between your hands. Spin that back heel forward, 45 degree angle. Heavy heel pulling that front foot out to create a wider base. Firming in that outer hip, drawing in your core. Stand up, warrior two. Knee is going over the toes, reaching through those hands. That front hip is lifting up, core engaged. Gaze is over that front hand, reaching through those fingertips. Exhale, cartwheel those hands back down. Neutralize that back foot, step back, downward dog. Step or hop those feet forward towards your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart. Pausing for a few breaths. Step those feet back, pressing back, downward dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bringing it forward in between your hands. Low lunge, bringing that block alongside the inside of your leg if you need to. Create a little bit of an arm extender. Always be very helpful. Elongating that back leg as much as possible, drawing up your kneecap. Sure, this front leg, knee is going over the toes. I'm going to gently drop that back knee to the floor, untuck the toes, press up, hands to the hips. I want you to draw up those straw head bones, tilting that pelvis. Really trying to get that stretch in through that quad up through the hip flexor. Deep breath. Relax the hands back to the floor. Tuck the toes. Press up, low lunge. Stepping back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bringing it forward, placing your foot on the mat in between the hands. Making sure that knee is going over the toe. Trying to create that long line from the heel all the way up through the knee so this calf is straight up toward the ceiling, not leaning forward in the leg. Still trying to make that back leg towards straight as much as possible. Lifting through that kneecap, elongating through your head. Release that back knee down to the floor. Untuck the toes. Press up. Hands to hips. Tilt that pelvis forward. Reaching tall through your head, rooting into that knee on the floor. Neutralizing that pelvis again, hands on the floor, tuck the toe, press back, downward dog, and the nyasa. Pose. 
resting that forehead on the floor. Let me grab a drink of water. I'm going to get my really fast. Coming back, we're going to um, sit down on our mat. We're going to bend the left leg, relaxing on the floor. Cross the right leg over the left um, thigh. Now sit up tall, hugging in that right leg. I'm going to reach up tall through that head and spiral twist. Relax that leg forward, making sure that foot flex before you do so. Reach up tall through the head. Begin to walk those hands forward, stopping whenever you need to. back up, bending that knee into your chest, crop, I'm crossing the legs, switching sides, right leg bent on the floor, crossing your left leg over that right thigh, sitting up tall, wrapping your right, your arms around that leg, Resting in, 
hands on your stomach or uh, alongside your body. Close your eyes if you are comfortable. Try and relax your face muscles. Let go of your jaw. Feel your shoulders sink into the floor. to wiggle your fingers and toes. Reach your arms above your head, legs long. You're taking a big morning stretch. Pressing yourself up whenever you're ready. Bringing your hands to heart center. Namaste.